is going on with these aliens? There's aliens? <laughs> so what is alien? What's going on? There's aliens? So we finally got a mainstream TV show talking about UAPs. After decades of cover-ups and lies and deceit and hiding in the shadows, finally, the former Pentagon official who was in charge of ATIP, Lou Elizondo, took his press tour to The Daily Show and revealed to the mainstream world that we are not alone. That there are absolutely technologies that are coming into our controlled U.S. airspace over our sensitive military installations, may have the ability to interfere with our nuclear equities. And um, yeah, it's real. And not only are pilots picking it up and, and, and reporting it, also we've got on electro-optical data like gun camera footage, FLIR footage, and also radar data. And it's not just here. It looks like it's pretty pervasive all over the world now. And... So what? There's aliens. There's aliens. They're aliens on Earth right now and they're doing shit. What are they doing? Depending what are they doing? How you put those two words together, I'm not sure they're necessary. <laughs> it was basically a big joke. Let me explain. And before you come at me with the, of course it's a joke, it's a comedy show, that's the whole point. Yeah, I get that. But the key to good comedy is timing, pacing, and when to use it. Lou and the host, Ronnie Chang, were on completely different wavelengths when it came to tone and awareness. The entire interview played exactly like that scene from the movie Don't Look Up, where Leonardo DiCaprio's character goes on live TV to warn the planet of a humanity-ending asteroid hitting Earth, and the hosts just laugh it off. Oh, would you please? Just stop being so fuck pleasant. I'm sorry, but not everything needs to sound so goddamn clever or charming or likable all the time. Sometimes we need to just be able to say things to one another. We need to hear things. Lou did his best to go along with the jokes, but clearly Lou was there to deliver a message that he sincerely believes the American public deserved to know. And just about every time Lou finished the thought, Ronnie makes an illegal alien joke or Independence Day joke. And I'm pretty sure in this 12 minute interview, Ronnie screams the word alien 39 times, even when Lou said at the beginning of the interview, the term is now NHI, non-human intelligence. And that's a hard conversation to have. What are you talking about? There's aliens. Have the conversation. There's aliens. There's aliens. There's aliens. <laughs> Well, uh... Ronnie was playing into the stigma of UFOs, and we are clearly still in that mindset as a population that this is just a funny topic. While I was watching the interview, all I can think of was how much better this would have been with Jon Stewart if he was asking the questions. He is very funny, yes, but also knows when to turn on his serious cap to match the guest's demeanor. It just felt like Ronnie played everything for a laugh, and the audience follows suit. They said that if, if, the, if the truth of this came out, it would probably unite the world, but yo, we need is, it now. Let's go, aliens! Aliens, let's go now. This the, is the time. The, the, the reality is, I, this is the time. We got a lot of shit going down now. Aliens, yeah. come, aliens. I'm, now I'm down for aliens now. This could be a total overreaction, but the interview felt like it could have been this big wow moment for mainstream TV. But in my opinion, it was a somewhat light and funny opinion piece, and I think the UAP topic deserves more. Anyway, what do you guys think? And as always, keep looking up. Doing things right and right now may not be, you know, the same, the same thing. What do so. you mean? There's aliens and you want to go through bureaucracy and try to unite Congress I, before you can fight the aliens? I, no, fight the aliens. <laughs> Get the aliens out. <laughs>